Well, Neptune is a um, computer software program that helps to monitor complex um, drug monitoring. So um, patients on a variety of different drugs can be monitored using our system to make sure they have the right test at the right time. Um, in terms of how it's helped patient safety, um, I'm a GP and we started this journey about 10 years ago and I realised we really didn't have a good system to monitor our patients and patients were falling through the net so this just makes sure we capture absolutely everybody, nobody falls through and that then helps us to ensure patient safety and reduce the risk that these drugs can cause. Well, we're absolutely delighted, of course. It's, it's a real honour to be here today and to receive our award. And I feel it just um, really validates all the work we've put into this mm -hmm. over the last yeah. 10 years. Um, we're absolutely passionate about this, really worked hard, and it's now lovely to be able to have that national recognition that this is something that, that can also be shared and other people can learn from it, hopefully. Because you started with some real concerns that in your practice that you weren't able to be confident that you were always on top of patient safety, no matter what you did. Absolutely. And that was felt probably a little bit alone at the time. You were really, that was your problem in your practice, but it turns out it's a national problem. And we're starting to see some attention nationally on that problem. Um, Early days on that one, I'd say, yeah, but yeah. one of the issues with Neptune, it's a very comprehensive system, but one of the, the hardest challenging bits is getting information out of the hospital, um, the, the blood testing results, and at the moment that part is done manually. So we're wondering if maybe linking mm. up with the academic health science networks, whether we might be able to um, perhaps make some connections with hospitalised systems and then maybe opens a few doors and start a few conversations and we're wondering whether actually the yeah. money might enable us to, to do that. Because if we could make that part automatic it would improve a system that's already working well but that's the area that slows people down a little bit so we'd, we'd love to be able to do something about that. Um, for us, it's been a really exciting opportunity. Um, we've, we've really enjoyed the, going through the process of the, of the entry, mm. and now we feel that, um, having, particularly having won the award, that we can it can be a sort of, um, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> 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 Stepping stone. Yeah. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> to, um, to enable us to share our learning uh, uh, to a more wider area. Yeah. And I think it's it's really useful to be asking these questions. When we go to practices, they say, we don't have a system that can do this well, that's great. But if you move out of the practices into the wider community, they assume there is a system and it's in place and it's doing fine. And they're not even sure why we're asking the question. So it's that gap. And hopefully, conferences like this will start to expose that gap. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's a great resource, fantastic that it's free. Um, I've had a look at it, it's so easy to use, it's beautifully structured. Mm. I think mm. it's, I love the consistency of how everything's um, sort of put up in the same, same way. And I think it's just a brilliant way of getting people talking to each other and breaking down those barriers, clinicians, IT, patients, right the way across. Um, and I, th I think it's gonna be amazing, really, really help. Yeah, yeah. And what I noticed about it was it was quite easy to to share, to contribute to it, but also really easy to access for free, um, yeah. which is not to be sniffed at these days. Um, so from both sides, it's easy both to use and to contribute. 